This is a tutorial to show you how to use an app called Book Buddy. So here's what the icon looks like after you download it from the App Store. So you just double click on it and it opens you up into this main screen. I haven't added any books yet because um, I wanted to show you some different features on it. So basically to add a book you just go up here to this plus sign and you click on the plus sign and it opens this up into a screen. So this is where you add a book. So you can scan a barcode or scan multiple barcodes. You can search for it online or add it manually. So we are going to scan a single barcode. So I'm going to click on that. And then it gives you this window and you can download a book. So I just downloaded Outlander and it doesn't have a picture or a photo so you can go ahead and click edit and you can take a photo or choose an online photo which I'm going to do so I'm going to search in here and look for a photo that I like that looks like my book and this is what my book cover looks like so I'm going to click choose up here and then I'm going to click save and then you can see it's added one book to my my book buddy um, it does different things like I can go ahead and scan another book so I go up here again to the plus sign and I click down here I'm going to scan a single barcode again and this is a popular one so this is in there okay so um, I've just downloaded Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and so down here you can drop down and you can put in like the series so if I wanted to go ahead and put in Harry Potter I could type in a new series here in the line and just type in Harry Potter and then click save up here and it saves it into series okay so now I have two books but then if I come down here and look at series I have Harry Potter series so it keeps track of it that way too so I found that kind of handy and then I'm going to show you how to add a book so I'm going to click up here that you have to search for because I kind of collect older books and I had to add one manually so I wanted to show you how to do that so I can go ahead and type in here to the title and the name of my book is called stories from Japan it's this old folk, folk tale stories that I used to read when I was a kid and now you they're out of print so you have to find them in um, used bookstores so I found that whoop I can't spell Japan right Okay, so stories from Japan, and I can just come up here and click save. And that's loaded. And so to edit, I actually have the book in hand. So another feature you can do is take a picture of your book. Whoop, I clicked on the wrong thing. I think I want to do this one. Yes, so I can click on take a photo right down here. So if I click on take a photo, I can come over here and take a photo and if I like that I can just go ahead and hit use photo down here and it puts it in underneath um, with my title and then for this one I would I could go ahead and type in I'm not going to do it now because it'll take me too long to type but I could click on the series and type in folklore of the world but for now I'm just gonna save it and save oh it's not letting me do that because I need to put an author and these were some old books um, from Dolch and now I can hit save okay so now I have three books saved and then there was one more thing I wanted to show you um, it is this little icon down here so this gives you some different options down here like your settings you can search for things down here this one you can actually sort your books by title author 
genre or series. Um, and then we haven't done genre yet, so we might do that. But this thing, the little um, icon there, you can go ahead and put books that you have loaned out or you have borrowed. So I have currently borrowed a couple books from the bookmobile. So I'm going to hit select and I'm going to scan a barcode again. So I'll hit scan bar single barcode. And then it shows the book I have. So then if I hit save, I can put borrowed from um, Great Falls Public Library, if I can figure out how to put that in. Oh, Public Library. Okay. And so then I can go ahead and hit save. and done okay so that keeps track of that there with that little icon so it's pretty handy um you can also rate your books like if i wanted to go up here and change something like with harry potter if i wanted to put it under a genre i could hit edit and there should be genre right here so they have it under ju juvenile fiction but if i wanted to change it i could also add um, like fantasy or something and then hit save too. Or if I didn't like juvenile fiction, I could change it. So it's just a handy way to keep track of all of your books. Um, and that's about it.